Aloha Kakahiaka Masterminds. Today we're going to explore popular places on Oahu as well as the Polynesian Cultural Center. from Waikiki. From Waikiki, we are heading to the east side of the island. From the east up to the north, the north back to the south, the south to the west, the west to the north, all the way to the Polynesian Culture Center. We should be at the Polynesian Culture Center around by one o'clock. No later than 1.30, all depends on the traffic today. So by the way, my name is Enele, E-N-E-L-E, -E, but you can call me Henry. <laughs> I'm not original in Hawaii. A native from one of the Polynesian islands, the island of Samoa. So the main reason I left my islands and I came to Hawaii, I need a high education. So my mother sent me to the University of Hawaii Mano campus for educate, major, American history, and minor, driving a tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> and you folks are so lucky today. Today is my first day on the job. I just got my license yesterday okay. from one of the ABC stores in YKK. So don't worry, be happy. So today we are travel as a family. So I consider you is a part of my family to me doesn't matter where you're from. I want you to get to know somebody in our family. Introduce yourself. Don't be shy. Nobody makes your day. You make your day. That is the highest point of diamond head we see right now. Standing for 763 feet above sea level. The Hawaiian word for the crater is called Le Ahi, Ahi, A-H-I. It's referred to a fire to the island. They discovered the slope of Diamond Head, find out as a crystal. Then they reopened to the public for that time. So today we are welcome. So a lot of our visitor questions. If that is the crater, how Diamond Head eruption as a volcano? It's not a lava floating. It's a steam explosion. almost a million dollars. A lot of those people, they is a lease land. So Hawaii has 132 islands, but only eight major islands. So this is the third largest island of all the islands of Hawaii today. We call Oahu, meaning gathering place. So the island of Oahu, we have our major highway. We call our highway H. H is for Hawaii. The word Aloha has so many, many, many depends how we say it. If we say Aloha, it means hello there. 
It's a welcome. Like I mentioned earlier this morning, aloha. To me, it doesn't matter we blood related or we don't. We respect each other as a family, calling each other cousin, brother or sister. If somebody little older than us, if that is a gentleman, surely in the front of us family. Look to our right side. Look at the plants right here with the beauty, beauty, beautiful flowers right there. Today, inside the Polynesian called Chesena, the island of Fiji, Fiji, they show us how to use the coconut mixed together with the flower, the blue mirror, as a perfume for ladies. Standing for 1,700 feet above sea levels. We are welcome. It's free to the public, won't cost us anything. In the summertime, we see a lot of people hiking. And as long as we get a permit from the state, we're good to go. Oh, praise the Lord, they let us in. In the island of Oahu today, number one, Pearl Harbor, the original memorial. Number two, Hanama Bay. If I was you, I get... Bye chickens. So the next island to Maui, the island of Moloka. Earlier 1900, the forefather of Hawaii was using the island of Moloka to isolate those people who were affected by all different types of a disease. There was no cure in those days. The dangerous disease in that time, the missile. We know practice of those old culture. We civilized. We don't have no leprosy. That's Maui over there. Oh, it's blowing. <laughs> Whoa. The end of the hill. There is a lighthouse is sitting in this place from 1906. The blinking of the lighthouse can cover to eliminate. And also family, look to your right side, look at the sign. No fucking any kind. But this is what we're gonna do. Uh, today I'm blind, I don't see no sign. We're gonna make a stop. Oh my god. But if you see the Hawaiian 5 run fast to the bus. My name is Kelly Tandu. Some of the holidays. Shortly in the front of our family. Look at the tattoo house right there. To the University of Hawaii saw the professor can study about the ocean traffic. According to the book, they call the tectonic. That rock in the bottom of the ocean till today, we don't have no such thing as a beat in our heart. We always fighting about they call the hang loose song. It goes like this. <laughs> just hang loose, just have fun. Sipping on the drinks, lying in the sun. Don't try to fight it, ain't no use. Cause when you in Hawaii, just hang loose. <laughs> Are you hanging loose? <laughs> oh, look to our left side, hibiscus. Polynesia, the only tree of all the trees in the world today. The flower changed color 
three times a day. All the way to your far right side. We call China man's hat. Why? Look at the shape. It's shaped like a hat that Chinese people using in a hot sun. They decide to maneuver the heavy equipment to go over. So what we do, we take care of so, so much pain. The highway completed. The cost to build the highway that we hold on to. Sale. 
according to the Congress of OA. The people travel from all different parts of the world and they purchase the land using as a residential area in another 10 to 50. So inside the store, they selling all different goodies. They selling food. So you look at all those mini buses, big buses right there, as where you find me. So synchronize your clock with mine. My time is 11.30. We leave this place at 12 o'clock. Sorry, it's not... Interesting, but we don't have time to do it. Roll, roll, roll a joint, twist it at the ends, light it up and take a puff and pass it to your friends. <laughs> Thank you. It's finally noon, so aloha abakea. It's afternoon, aloha awinawa. He's the best of our friends of Kamehameha first. Look to your left side. Look at the new fields right there. The pineapple is really, really sensitive. The pineapples cannot go far, far away from the equator. What you're gonna see in front of us behind the Christmas tree, these are the copies right here. That is one of our export into the world. It's one of the top five in Hawaii today. Owns a lot of acres and acres and acres of land. If you see it, let our whole family see it. To our left side. Oh. Anybody see it? Yeah. Good, good, you see it. Okay, almost 90% of the house in Hawaii, including the spread their day at the beach of the North Shore then in Waikiki. Because Waikiki is too, too crowded. Not only crowded, the water in Waikiki is so polluted with all those that lotion. So the name of the beach, water wonders all over the forest, pick up the red dirt, bring them into the shore, change the colors of the fresh salt water into red water. So we got the name White Mare. Years and years ago, none of the common people of Hawaii owned any piece of our land. All the land of Hawaii, those days they owned by the royal Tea Today, Hawaii we lost almost everything. We don't have no royalty. We lost our land. We lost our culture. We lost our language. How we lost our language? The time when the Earlier 1900, when the missionaries came to Hawaii, tried to help the Hawaiian tour. This is where the surfing competition every year. There is a lady division and also the men's division. Owned by Campbell. Campbell is one of the top five in Hawaii. They own acres and acres of land. 1998, Campbell shut down the sugar plantation because cost him a lot of money to send the sugar to California, San Francisco to refine. Now it's a big empty land right now, nobody knows. In 1965, the church, Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, purchased 
3,000 acres of land from the mountain into the shore, using to plant the sugar plantation. Like I said, we lost everything. So it arrested tension area today. So both of the house in a part of us to our right side. It's a Mormon temple. Like I said, there is a tour. Take people to the Mormon temple, right to your right side. Look at the house. Those are the Polynesian homes. Today, we have American home in this place to your right side. McDonald's. <laughs> and now we build this place as Waikiki number two. Look at the hotel radio. Guardian Maria. We are welcome. And look at the parking lot. Look at all these cars. There's going to be a heavy traffic going back into Waikiki tonight. So the faster you come out, the faster we leave this place. And I said, welcome to the Polynesian Culture Center. So I make easy for you. So that way, tonight after the show, you are not confused to look for me. The same place I bought the bus is the same place. I put it out to you at the same place. you find me tonight after the show. It's easy for you to look for me instead of I looking for you. You know why? The folks all look alike to me. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. It's only a joke. Henry is too funny. <laughs> It's sprinkling. Aloha. Family, welcome to Hawaii and also welcome to the Polynesian Culture Center. I am Ammon, I will be your tour guide and let's get started. All right, everybody follow me. So just letting you know, it was me that made the rain stop. I prayed so hard, okay? Okay, people? <laughs> All right, is, anybody, this, is this uh, anybody's first time in Hawaii? All right, how about the PCC or the Polynesian Culture Center? All right, sweet, you're in for a treat. All right, family, welcome to the Hukilau Marketplace. Can everybody say Hukilau? Hukilau. Hukilau. Awesome. Well, it's called a marketplace as well, so you know what to do here around. <laughs> like, you can go shopping, you can try new foods. <laughs> Alright family, this is where you want to be at later today if you if you want to go shopping or check out cool stuff or even eat like snacks or whatever you want to. This is the place. Alright family? Sweet. Now follow me. Alright family, now look to your left, which is my right. You will see a building called the Pacific Theater. All right, family, later today at 7.30 p.m. there will be a show called Ha! The Breath of Life. Trust me, you do not want to miss this show. It is too good to miss, all right? <laughs> I would encourage you guys to be seated by 7.15 because the light goes out and it will be pretty hard to navigate your seats and you might break a leg or break both legs. So you don't want to do that, okay? okay. Awesome. <laughs> Ah. Alright family, just letting you know, it's a, it's a normal thing for me to walk backwards but I don't have extra eyes behind me so I need you guys to help me out to stay safe because I don't want to break any parts of my body. I'm still a student, I need to study, I need to make a living in the future. Yeah, breaking a body part is not a good idea. <laughs> Alright. Alright family, as you can see there are a lot of food trucks which means a lot of food. So, if you are hungry and if you want to try something new, this is where you should be. Right, family? Oh. You all cut in. <laughs> Alright, family. Now, if you want to look to the ground, 
you'll notice a, a pattern of flowers in yellow. Thanks. So family, let's just say you're too shy and you're lost and you don't want to talk to anyone, but you want to come back here. Oh. Yeah, come back, come back. <laughs> Anyways, this flowers will navigate you back to the Hukilau market just in case you get lost, alright family? So remember, yellow flowers, not the red one. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Can anybody tell me what does this sign represent? Hawaii, aloha, I love you, goodbye, I don't like you too, you know, you're trying to be kind, yeah, yeah, crazy, you're crazy, hang loose, all this, all the signs, but the story behind the shaka is quite interesting, later as we walk by, you will notice that he's missing three fingers, okay, there's only stops left, so Hamana Kalili, he used to work for a sugarcane plantation in the factory where the machines were cutting off the sugarcane, something got stuck, and he decided, you know what, I got two hands, let me just put one of them inside, let me just check it out. And then he came out with three missing fingers. So my advice to you, don't do that. <laughs> you don't want to lose your fingers, it's hard to carry a cup, you know. See? Alright, anyways, um, what happened was, he was transferred to be a security for the trains which transported the sugar cane. And he would stop people from illegally getting on the train to travel around Hawaii. Alright, the crazy thing is, is that kids, they're pretty smart, they love the trains, I mean, who doesn't, right? So they would come in and, and hide around and signal their friends, Hey, Amana's not here, let's get on the train, let's go to here, let's go to there. And that's how it became famous from that point onwards. Alright, so if you're going down the street and if you're driving and someone, and you make, you, cut, you accidentally cut someone and he flips a finger, just do this and he'll reply you back with respect. Alright? Sweet. Now family, these people right here are professional photographers. If you desire or wish to have your pictures taken with Amana, please go on and I will meet you guys over... <laughs> I'm Larson, I'm Malaysian. But I sound American because I practice a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm 22, I'm a student at the Brigham Young University campus, which is, I believe, that way. It's literally nearby. Uh, this is my first semester, I'm a freshman. And also my major is Hospitality and Tourism Management which means there's a chance that I could be the new CEO of Disney. <laughs> okay? So that is also my dream, to be the first Malaysian to be a member of the Board of Directors. Anyway, it's a high dream but I believe I can do it. I believe, I believe so. Alright family, um, just to give you a quick history and also to state the purpose of the PCC. The PCC's purpose is to uh, to promote cultures, all right, to save up the cultures, to show people the cultures of Polynesia. As you can tell from your own experience, cultures are dying. Not many, not many people remember them. But this is the place where we believe that we can show to the world, perhaps if you are Polynesian or not, where people came from, their history, their background, what they love, and what they like to share with the world. All right, this is the mission of the PCC, and you guys being here today gives us an opportunity to share this with everyone in the world. So thank you very much for coming. Alright family, today we will be doing a bunch of activities and also shows. Alright, I'll do what I can to bring you guys to most of it because it takes 16 hours to do everything. But our tour is only from now till 5 so I'll bring you guys to the best shows, my hand-picked shows, my favorite shows and I hope you guys will enjoy yourself. Alright family? Now, um, Right now we're going to go through a quick ceremony. We call this the lei ceremony. Can everybody say lei? Lei. Okay. So this is the lei. It's a special necklace worn by royals. So today, you guys are royalty. Alright? <laughs> now, the crazy thing about this, it takes a week to make one. So there's 14 of you. So, you do the math. Alright? Sorry? Take 14 weeks. Yes. Well, this one took... This one took one week and there's a bunch more that they, people do every day. So it takes a long time because the process to make it is pretty long. This is a real nut called the Pukui nut or the candlelight nut. And they will suck out the, the insides to let it rot. You will notice by the smell and they will turn it into a necklace. Okay, so I've done the introduction about the lei. Now I'm going to show you the way to wear the lei. So when I give you a lei, you're not supposed to wear it on yourselves. You're supposed to put it onto someone you do not know. So this gives us the opportunity to introduce ourselves to everyone, okay? For example, 
Jean, right? Right. Jean, Jean, you will introduce yourself to our friend right here by stating your name, where you're from, and what you love to do the most. And he will do likewise to you. And we will do that in a couple of minutes. Is that okay? Awesome. Right. So this is for you. I wouldn't encourage you to smell it. It has a really interesting smell, but if you wish to, go for it. Alright? Measure the size of the Sure. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Mia. Hi, Mia. Where are you from? I'm Jim. I'm Noel. Noel. I'm from California. From Arkansas. Arkansas. Central Arkansas. Central Arkansas. Central Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> Born and raised. I'm Lois. I'm from Arkansas, and I like golf. Jim Oswald, Las Vegas Village, Arkansas. I like golf a lot. I'm Lydia from Macedonia. I want to travel. I'm Christina from Macedonia, and I love to read and travel. I'm Mike from West Virginia, and I like to garden and travel. Very nice. I'm Sherry from Minnesota, and I like to go to the And I'm John, I'm from Minnesota, and I like to do everything that my wife tells me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Noel from California. I love to make YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm Ian from California and I like to play soccer. And I That's cool. That's very cool. Everybody here is different. There are some things in common which unites all of us. Alright family, I'd like to encourage you to take this opportunity to know each other and to also learn more about the Polynesian Cultural Center because this is uh, Fiji, Hawaii, Tahiti and Tonga. Alright, these are the main attractions and there's a bunch of activities and shows. Okay, family, just to let you know, it takes 16 hours like I said earlier, which means uh, we cannot do everything today. Alright, but your ticket allows you to come back for the next three days starting tomorrow. And the day after that, and the day after that day to go through all the activities and the shows. I encourage you guys to come back if you have time so that you can have the full experience. Alright family? Wow. Awesome. Now follow me. Aloha. Alright family. This is the this is literally the main entrance to the Polynesian Culture Center. This is where your experience will begin. Alright? Family? If you would walk with me, please. Oh, <laughs> Alright, it is today at 2.30 there will be a Kabuto called Kabuki. And this is where the story begins, which involves all the cultures performing their cult of uh, Involves all of the islands performing their cultures and their dance and everything else. It's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> Alright family, we're approaching the island of Samoa. In Samoa, we say Talofa. Everybody say Talofa. Talofa. Alright. Okay family, as much as I want to give you more details, there is a show that is going on. I will lead you guys through the show so that you all can learn more from the, from the villages themselves. Alright? Alright, follow me. So Millie! Millie! Don't say it. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Keep rubbing until I see some smoke. <laughs> when I say party, just give me one loud clap. Party! 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 No party! <laughs> That's how we choose people for sacrificing them. <laughs> Did you see the smoke? Yeah. Try your best. <laughs> the other one we call it pool. Cup your hands like this, cross it over, and pull, 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 party, pull, party, music, right on. That's how we made music back in the days, before instruments introducing the island of Samoa, and microphones, that's how we do it. Clap hands and sing at the same time. 
We don't use the microphone to say Patty or Paul. We use this. If I point up, give me a Patty. High sound. If I point down, give me a Paul. Low sound. So follow my finger. I was late. <laughs> Together. <laughs> that was super early. <laughs> Everybody. Uh. <laughs> you guys speak English? <laughs> Follow the figure. <laughs> One more time, folks. I mean, I need everybody. <laughs> I said, see. We will, we will rock you. Right on. That's the right song on the wrong island. <laughs> we don't sing that song. <laughs> everybody say, music. music. Hands up. Give me all your money. Shake it. Chat side. Millie. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Tafiti from Salt Lake City. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Talofa. Talofa. Oh, come on, Talofa. Talofa. No, today's your day. You like it or not, you chose to be here. There's no other choice. <laughs> to have a good time. Are you ready for a good time? Yeah. Yeah, the right place. This is Samoa. Everybody says Samoa. Samoa. You want Samoa? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go out there, you're not happy, you come back here for Samoa. <laughs> There's a lot more to <laughs> Culture is alive in Samoa. Our language, our chief system, all the things we share with you today is today. Welcome to Samoa today. Although it was already tomorrow there, it's still today. So welcome to tomorrow today. <laughs> nice seeing you yesterday. <laughs> You're not happy today? That's tomorrow. There's another chance. There's hope. Never mind yesterday's gone. If you didn't follow that, welcome today. <laughs> today we want to take you back to the plants. I believe the plants can help you understand our culture better. It's a, a plant-based culture and no plant, no culture. No house, canoes, clothing, food, medicines, you and I and everything else. So we'll share with you a few plants and their uses, but really put the emphasis on one particular plant or tree in Samoa, the tree referred to as the La Awoleola, the tree of life. You hear that? The sound of the tree falling. Are you heard it or not, the tree fell near the sun. Young and strong, disobedient, confused, that's him, give me the tree. There it is, this is the coconut tree, the tree of life that gives so much and much, much more and never stop giving. We use every part of the tree. We share this precious knowledge with you. Go home and share with your friends if you have friends. If you don't. <laughs> coconut is a seed that germinates, becomes another tree. Let's celebrate the life of the coconut tree along with the other plants. Now, first, you need to know, don't ever forget, coconut tree has no season. When the trees start to bear fruit, it doesn't stop. Every single leaf, every single leaf gives at least 10 coconuts. You can see it right up there. Every leaf is a bunch. It started way down below when the tree trunks about a foot or two of the ground, early stage of the tree, it starts to bear fruit and it hasn't stopped yet and it won't until it dies or you cut it down and use it for other things. For example, an entire house can be built with just the coconut trees. So let's break it down for you. The roots comes medicines, the tree trunk, a solid piece of wood is long and straight, it has a beautiful grain, you can carve, you can build anything with it. You can also cut a small piece and use it as a weight to work out with. <laughs> People ask us constantly, do you guys work out? I say we work way out. 
<laughs> you have no idea how out we work and how late we stay out, how that school is out. Look at the apps, a yeah? couple apps over there, there's a bunch of apps over there, there's one app over there, there's one and a half over here. <laughs> These apps are free, download the apps anytime. <laughs> if you have the iPhone 9, you know, 9 is not available, Steve Jobs and he finishes somebody else's job. <laughs> As you skip, you got 7, 8, 9, 8 the whole thing, 9 is gone, we got 10. <laughs> you can sit on this thing and don't think at all. Today's world, you don't have to think anymore. You have a thing called a smartphone to think through, just ask Siri. We got an iPhone, iPad, iHops, iDis, iDad, this I think is going too far. We smile with two eyes, Wi-Fi instead of a wife, and we get a selfie with a stick. I mean, how selfish life has become a self-centered young man. Get a life, get to work, don't be a burden to society and families. Have you heard of I work? And the IRS. They're looking for you. The leaf of the tree, a young chief weaving a cute little basket, that one of you will take it home today. Who wants a basket? Yeah! Because everybody wants it. We're going to cut it up and you can take a piece of it home. Just tell your friends and family this is a piece of the best. I've got a headband. Yes, I'm coming out to you. Whoever deserves it gets it. If you don't get one today, it's not your day. We don't have enough for you. Yeah. Look at the house. The roof is covered in leaves. The blinds are covered in leaves. The mattress sleep on is covered in leaves. The tray each one is covered in leaves. The hat you wear is covered in leaves. The fan you fan with is covered in leaves. And the list goes on and on. Check this out. This one single leaf help you appreciate the COVID even more. Check this out. Check this off. It comes right off. Ready the ends when it comes to skirt. Goes all around. It's also a shirt. Fishy method inside more called the Lao or Hooky Lao. And today you see in the Kinu Show. After this, go watch the Kinu Show because it's fishing method. Fishing style called the Hooky Lao. This is the leaf of fish with. Here's a Q tip. That's a Q tip. Here's a toothpick. Goes in there, right in there. Right? <laughs> Buy one, get one free. <laughs> it's long enough to reach the other side. You see that? It's going to be right To be clean, I can hear everything you say. We have a fork. We got a fork. A couple more. Design a comb, comb your hair with. Tie a bunch together, it becomes a broom we clean up with. In Zamo, we hear that broom all day long. People in the house, clean up on the field. We hear the, the child screaming for his life. They can clean up. <laughs> that was really funny when I it. it wasn't funny going on. I can spend my whole life, it doesn't hurt anymore. It one more time. <laughs> <laughs> <Some painful numbers. laughs> Back to the basket. Every young man must know how to weave a basket. If you cannot weave a basket, you're useless. You can't carry the rocks, the firewoods, the coconuts, the bread for the child. The child that cannot walk is carrying the baskets. To the young man works on the farm, loads them up, walk for miles and miles. In this long walk, they actually stop and post. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many books written about Samoa? A lot. Not one book mentioned this. This is embarrassing. These guys are so full of themselves. They're in the middle of nowhere posing. Nobody cares. <laughs> Just hurry up and get to the village and cook before they're waiting for you. In Samoa, we... Don't touch me. <laughs> Just me again, I'll touch you back. <laughs> In Samoa, we believe that everything was in place from the beginning of time. Everything was in order. In our society, especially the family, everybody has responsibilities. The young men's role, the provider. This is seven, eight, nine year old. In the 12, the, the men to do the work on their own. The fishermen, raise the animals, plant the food, cook the food, serve the food in the house. Your grandparents, your parents, your sisters eat first. And it's the most beautiful part of our culture to see the young men serve the family with great respect. We've been taught, the people you serve today serve those who have gone before us, and they bear right there. They watched, we believe they watched us serve the people that serve them, because now it's their turn. And then one day, guess what, your turn will come. And because of that, I know for a fact, our culture is alive today, and hope and pray last for a very long time. Yeah. So when you get home, make some changes. Let these young men cook. Mm -hmm. Let them serve the food. Come on, give it up for the young men sitting next to you. And those women at home with this new idea, put some stress on these young men. <laughs> <laughs> Women have their place in every society, it's true, Samoa, you're taught as a young man that your mother, your sister, is the people of the eyes of young men. In this relationship, you're very sensitive and you're very protective of it. So in Samoa, everybody knows this, especially the men, never disrespect anybody's mother or sister. It's the last thing you want to do, it might be the last thing you do, good for you, 
It's not raining, step down. <laughs> you can complain about the heat, there's a solution. <laughs> well, okay. It's not snowing, that's all we know. So we'll never snow here. I'm not anymore. <laughs> so, husky, we we'll use this. We call it melee. We say melee. In English, short system. In Spanish, follow up. India, luckily, Filipino Matulis. India, Chinese, Japanese. It's not chopstick, it's chopstick. First step, right here. What? Is it down on the side? <laughs> Before we crack the coconut, start with the husk. So the coconut ripen, the husk dries up. Before it ripens, take the husk and use it. A basket of husk. In the salt water a couple of weeks, take it out, pound it, clean it up. There it is. Dental floss. Hair replacement. Hair extension. That's what you look like. I'm raising fun. Well, who brought this rain here today? No. Give it up the man. He fed backwards when you give it up. You have a good time? You want more? Come on, you want more milk? Go home with your hunger. We're going to make fire wrapping sticks. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make fire. The wood we use is wild hibiscus. That was I. I and you mark, you set, go! Right there, Mom. Can you see right there? Right there. Can you see the guy? Can you see him? Can you see him? Can you see him? 
Fire. Afi.
Our grants we need to know most of the workers are students at the University and most publishers have for education. You come in here today, you come and learn this uh, cultural world and you turn your financial support and education in the I came from Samoa, my name is Kat, I just say Kat. Kat. K-A-P, came from Samoa as a student, truly blessed to be part of this program, came and I work, went to school, graduated with a degree in fine arts. And today I see my work in the galleries, and many, many homes you want to do. So go to the gallery back there. So after this, and check it out, take whatever you want. Give oh, it oh, to me after you take it. And I have some. I'll be back there and take a picture, check it out there, after this. We've we got the coconut stamp, we've got the oil in the bottom, we've got the woman things from the leaves, we've got the young pool, we've got the big oil in the house. We're going to learn about it. First of all, we're going to ask it. We're cooking today in the kitchen. We've got fire making, learn how to make fire, learn to weave, learn to find that gas, you learn everything. When we're done with today, I'll find you out there. You're a better person than you can do. So you're good today, my friends. Aloha. I'd like to give you a little bit time for your home. This is Captain Tempo, the Vicky all the way from Salt Lake City. You're protected under my poncho. I'll still try to show you what happens. I don't like rain. Word, 
You do not eat dinner tonight. <laughs> you should know this. In the count of three, Hawaii, ready? One, two, three. Oh, very nice. All right. What about a big round of applause for everybody? That was a good start. Okay. Here in Hawaii, we want everybody to participate in the hula. We are going to do the hula. Yes, we are. Yeah, our hula is entitled One Ohana, One Family Sharing Aloha. Now, Aloha has a couple meanings. Aloha means hello. hello. Yes, Aloha means goodbye. goodbye. And Aloha means love. You. love. Yeah, so which one are we celebrating? Aloha. Of course, so we are celebrating love. All right, so look at your dance, dance instructions right in front of you. Our first motion, first motion, bring up your hands in front of you. One sunrise. Yeah? Very nice. Here the sun is coming up. One sunrise. One sunset. Bring it right in front of you. Hold it right there. Beautiful. One ocean. Make some big waves with your hands. Left hand, right hand. One ocean. Under a blue sky. <laughs> one lane. One kiss. Let me hear it. Right back at you. One love I miss. One Ohana. One Ohana. She's so beautiful. She is Earth Mother. The mother of all life. She's calling you, calling us, pulling us like a net, bringing us here to Lai as one family. All of us? Everyone? Yes, even our ancestors. Our story today begins with an ancestor you already know, Maui. He's a demigod. It's a magical hook made from the bone of his grandmother. Her bone? Yes. And casting it into the ocean. He pulled up the land and it broke into pieces. <laughs> and that is how our islands arose. Each one different, yet each part of a whole.
guests to arrive. And did they come? Oh yes. We stood out on Kamehameha Highway and held up signs. The car stretched as far as we could see. our guest with his famous shaka sign.
We'll be passing through the kingdom of Tonga. We'll come back to Tonga later. <laughs> Oh! 
in a lover's voice, and those words are Kiao Tebe! Kiao Tebe! In Hawaiian, say Avili! Avili! What we just said was, faster please. <laughs> I came a long way and paid a lot of money to see the fasted game, not that slow one that you just did. So please quicken the pace. That's what you said. <laughs> Good luck. or watch the canoe pageant, you would have noticed that the Fijians are much darker in complexion than the rest of Polynesia. They're included in the Polynesian Cultural Center as well as a part of Polynesia because of the similarities in cultural beliefs, cultural traditions, the culture itself, lifestyle, even the language. For instance, if you head over to Hawaii and ask them to say house, they will say hale. Everyone say hale. Vale. In Fiji, we say vale. vale. In Tonga and Samoa, they say vale. vale. Does that sound similar? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Head over to the islands of Tahiti and ask them to say land. They will say fanua. Everyone say fanua. fanua. In Fiji, we say vanua. Wow. Does that sound similar? Yeah. Very good. A brief breakdown of our islands here in Fiji. As you all came in, you were summoned or greeted by the sounds of the lali. Everyone say lali. lali. You will always notice the chief's hut because of the four entrance doors that are aligned with white kari. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you know what dead row means. Very good. Now. You notice you have an open end and a closed end. The closed end will hit the ground. Open end produces the sound. So let's go ahead and make some noise. And stop. Stop in Fiji and still means stop. Very good. Now we're going to go over three simple beats. After we learn those beats, we're going to invite our musicians in to put them to music. Does that sound good? Yes. First Ready together, go! One, two, three! One, two, three! Ready and stop! Word of caution to anyone wearing open toe shoes or open toe sandals. We do not want you to produce a different sound. Second beat. my 
like to call them. Manu 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 Manu
See, one unique feature about our culture is that when conducting the ceremony like this, all attendants must be found seated on the ground. It's a symbol of humility and respect. <laughs> the chiefs are directing the exchange of a traditional plan known as Kava, the figurative expressions of not only welcoming your guests, but a ceremony that will bind us together as one family or guide
everybody say Kelea. Kelea. Kelea Concha was used at the time to signify the arrival of the Pacha royalty. It was also necessary to alert all villagers to follow certain taboo, such as never look directly at the priority's face or never get too close to be in their shadows. If you're found breaking these taboos, consequences will follow. So if you hear the Kelea play like this back in the days, be prepared. <laughs> The same love and the same love and respect still exists in Tonga today because on Sunday probably the only sound you would hear are the ringing of church bells or the beating of the lad in this manner. Wake up! Go to church! Tongans would always perform dance. So today's your lucky day. We're gonna wow. teach you a short and simple dance called Maolo. Can everybody say Maolo? Maolo. Maolo is a sitting down dance where both men and women do the same hand motions. But before we get into that, I want you to sit up straight, clear up your belongings, and this dance required smiling from beginning to end. So I want everybody to smile. Wow. So we're gonna teach you freeze, freeze, basic motion in the Tongan dance. So. First motions, put both of your hands like this and clap them together. This produces a high sound called Fussy. Can everybody say Fussy? Fussy! Second motions, clap both of your hands like this, one on top of the other, and start clapping. This produces a low sound called Foo. Can everybody say Foo? Oh. Last motion, stretch out your hand like this, turn them to you, and wave them down and out. To you, down and out. To you, down and out. To you, down and out. This motion is called Haka. Can everybody say Haka? Haka. Let's review your motions. Give me a Basi. Ooh. Haka. Basi. Ooh. And a Haka. Basi. Ooh. And a Basi. Oh. At least you know the difference. <laughs> okay, we're going to teach you three sets of motions in between right, each set in a passi and a full. Give me a passi and a full. First set of motions. Stretch out your left hand like this, right hand next to your ear, and give me three hackers. Haka, two, and three. To the right. Haka, two, and three. Second motion. Put both your hands down left and give me three hackers.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the island of Tonga. This part of our show is dedicated to the ladies and the children. Ladies, children, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because the men, the men are going to perform for you today, ladies. Let me check my drummer, see if they're ready. Drummers, are you ready? Yeah. Japan, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Welcome to our drummers. going to warm up. Follow me. We do this one by one. Let me go first. We're going to start with New Jersey and then Atlanta, Georgia and then I know. <laughs> okay, watch me. I do this one time only. One time. Especially you, New Jersey, you going first. Fight your way! Everybody, give it up for uh, Jersey. Jersey. Sit down. <laughs> Georgia, your turn. <laughs> oh, my friend. Everybody give it up. Woo! Our first warrior from New Jersey. Come on, give it up for New Jersey. This is my show. <laughs> Come on, everybody, give it up. Jamaican. Yeah. Talk 
Pacquiao. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ask them if they're ready. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> How's he doing, everybody? Excellent. Everybody, tell him to follow me. Follow him. use that ticket again to come back here and go through all the shows you will have a wonderful experience the full experience of the Polynesian Culture Center all right family now um, since we're gonna break off now I'm gonna give you guys some information on where you can go next and what you can do okay so do you remember where we went uh, for the show the, the theater show the, the movie yeah. at that area if you go a little bit more you will see an entrance to canoes okay and in a few minutes, in five minutes, the canoes will open and give you a round trip on canoes all the way to Hawaii, Tahiti, and all the way back to where you came from. It starts at five. If you wish to go there, and, you, and if you wish me to guide you there, I will gladly do so. Also, there are other activities you can do. You can go to the ukulele shop, and also that volcano that we just passed through as we exit the movie. You can also do your shopping there. And also, you can go back to the marketplace to do some stuff as well. Okay? Yeah. And, sorry? Okay. <laughs> so, remember the security checkpoint where we checked your bags? Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a tramp. Tramp, tramp. Got that right. Tramp. <laughs> okay, I made a mistake. There's a tramp beside it. You can go on the tramp and they'll give you a tour 
within the community, you'll go through BYU Hawaii, which is the university, and also you'll get to see the LDS Laie Temple, which is beautiful, and they'll give you a quick tour and a quick intro or, and also history about how Laie and, and how it came to be. All right? Also, there are maps. I'm gonna give one to each family. If you don't have maps, it's okay, I can be your map. All right, this is for your family. This is for you, sir. It's for you. Yeah, it actually should be enough. Right. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, if you want to open it up, please look for Aotearoa. Okay, if you see Aotearoa, A-O-T-E-A-R-E-A, -E I think that's how you spell it. Uh, we are here right now, that's where you're at. And you can go anywhere from this point. And also, if you look to your very left, far left, at the back of the... Wait, no, not this one. This one, yeah. Okay, you'll see this, a chart, okay? The charts are organized in a way where orange is the show and green is the activity. If you wish to have, if you wish to go to those places and experience more, you can do so. Just make sure that you're on there, uh, that you're there on time, all right? All right, family, um, I'm gonna help you guys right now. I'm gonna give you guys as much help as I can give you, okay? So right here I have papers or cards called the Kukua cards. And if you fill this up, I can give you 10% discount on a lot of stuff. Alright, I'll just pass it on and you just fill it up and just pass it back to me, okay? I have only three pen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's as much as I can give actually. Fill it up. So where, where is the Luala? Yeah, um, remember where we're sitting under the rain in the canoe? It's just behind you. I can bring you there. It's called Hale Ohana. Hale Need the last one? Okay, fine. I'm in a... For me. Okay. <laughs> this, the Tongan show is... Uh, honestly, um, I, will, I usually end my tours with the Tongan show because it's pretty hype. It's really cool and really fun. Alright. Sweet. Family, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each of you. Uh, thank you. Personally, and also on behalf of my friends and colleagues. Um, I'd like to mention this now. The PCC is actually a non-profit organization. The money that we earn is to pay for students at my campus, at my university, students who cannot afford. For me, 20,000 USD is a little bit too much. My family can't pay that much. So with your contribution, I'm able to come to school here. Uh, thank you so much for being here actually. In fact, I have siblings who are coming here from Malaysia as well to study and I have friends as well from Every part of the world that I know of they are coming here as well. So thank you so much for coming here Please give yourself a round of applause. You guys are heroes awesome. <laughs> Tough crowd <laughs> All right family um, We can end this now um, Would you all like me to show you to where you're gonna eat? Yes. yes, please. All right. Um, does anybody, anyone here, would like to go for the round canoe, the canoe round trip? How long that will take? Um, before you'll be done before you. I'm gonna find the okay. bathroom. You like to go? Yeah. Okay, it's pretty cool. All right, family, follow me. <laughs> We're now waiting to experience a luau at Hale Ohana. I changed outfits for the occasion. How many? Aloha. Aloha. Oh yeah. Look at this dining hall. Ooh, pink lemonade. Very short. It's time to get food. Uh, we'll be released table by table here shortly. Mm. Oh my goodness. The Lua Pork.
We invite you to enjoy this evening's Luba. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest who will explain a little bit more about our emo here today. Please welcome Cousin Amonde. All right, aloha cousins. Are you guys excited for your main dish tonight? Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. All right, one more time, Cousin uh, our cousin over here taught us already what is the Hawaiian word for your main dish? Pua'a. 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 That's correct. Pua'a. Good job. Everyone say Pua'a. 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 Pig. Pig. pig, that's right. Now, uh, a pig or pua'a, it, uh, traditionally, it was only prepared in an imu for big celebrations. Today, that is your luau celebration, all right? Our handsome young chefs over here will be unveiling oh this gosh. imu, all right? And that is an underground oven once again. All right, look at that pig, everyone. How about a round of applause for the pua'a? Woo! Woo! early this morning. Generally from start to finish, this method of cooking takes about seven to ten hours. Right. Now this pig right up here is really cooked. All right, are you guys excited for it? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Now the emu itself, you fill it with lava rocks and the lava rocks, they're great to keep in the heat. They burn really, really hot for a very long time. You start a fire on top of that, when the rocks are white, you know it's ready to cook, and you place everything on top of that. Right? <laughs> you cover it lastly with banana leaves, and that's what's going to keep in the steam to actually cook the food. Okay? Now this pua'a, you'll be able to help yourselves to tonight. You won't be able to help yourselves to our chefs, so please <laughs> keep that in mind. But take a picture, and it will be available for you to eat as much as you want the far back wall over here at our Luar Venue. Alright, one more time, round of applause for you. So, what we just ate is basically an appetizer. Uh -oh. You might notice that this is actually meant to be a side dish along with your main meal. So, please feel free to try that if you haven't. We then have our beautiful purple taro rolls. Our taro dinner rolls. Put your hands up if you tried this before. Did you like it? Place to the queen's left hand side, along with the Ukami dressed in the colors of blue. 
holding a basket woven out of the pandemic. This basket contains the dated personal items for both the king and queen. This was first observed the car I hope will not take its place with the basket right outside. As the car of the Fahidi or bearers of the tall tennis standards surround the royal court, there is a protect the king and his royal entourage. that now signifies the departure of the world of our peasants. One, two, three! That is the iron version of saying, <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs>
The finale of the evening is Ha, Breath of Life. Sadly, I can't show you the show. Did you know the buttons on my shirt are made of coconut? Later that same evening. Wasn't that an amazing show? Yeah, that was fun. The fire dancing was so... Well, Who's my favorite? about those guys with the hula skirt, they sitting on top of the fire. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you remember which island is that? Uh, no? <laughs> those are my people. That's a mom. We are the happy people, and we are the crazy people. <laughs> so the show tonight, 15 years old. Every 20 years, we change the whole show. 20? So I don't know if you read the story of the show tonight, the beginning of the show. Basic on the Christmas season, is the birth of Christ. But the whole show tonight, that is the version of the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when this is like the new show, all of us old, old dancers, we designed the show according to the version of the Lion King. So that is the story of the show tonight. Okay, we're gonna hit the road. Polynesian culture center and also myself we say mahalo nui loa thank you very much traveling with us so you have a blessed vacation in the island enjoy the rest of your stay but after your vacation you return back home have a safe flight and God be with you. Once you get home safely, we want you to we can live in peace in this earth. And also we want you to take the last three letter, the spelling of the word family. I L Y. Love somebody. So may God bless each of every one of you. Until we meet. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you, George. <laughs> Mahalo, Henry. <laughs> All right, masterminds. The vlog ends here. Mahalo, Nui Loa, for watching. Ahui ho, aloha po.